everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you today we're doing the weekly reads as per the dates below the video for each star sign it's just to put a message out there this is going to be the last weekly read guys until i come back on the 4th of january 2021 obviously with the run up to christmas it's a busy time as you can appreciate with families and everything else so it's just to give myself a little break as well and i will return to the weekly reads back in january on the 4th of january they'll be uploaded for 2021 and just to let you know going through next year i've decided just to stick to my weekly reads i'm not going to be doing any more monthly reads basically just for um it's easier on my workload in fitting it in with my health conditions and everything else. I'm not going to bore you with that though, guys. But I just thought I'm going to stick to the weeklies, upload every week for your reads. And on the last week of the month, I will just add my little bit of meditative poetry into the last um, weekly read, really. So it's just going to work better for everybody. It'll be consistent and hopefully you will understand my reasoning for that. So I'm going to get on with the readings now for um, the last week, as I said, of 2021. And I'll just take this opportunity again to thank everybody for following me through, supporting me, and hopefully we can go through together in 2021. And let's hope it's a better year for everyone as we go through. So take care, my lovelies, and we'll get on with the readings. Thank you. I'm now going to be reading for my lovely Leos. So Leo, I'm just going to move your card out the way for a second. And let's start shuffling the cards and see what's coming in for you this week. Leo, Leo, Leo. I felt um, some of you had been suffering with a bit of head pressure recently. Just suffering with a, a few headaches. Um, obviously not all of you, but I did pick up on the energy where you wasn't sleeping correctly. Um, up quite late and then up early. Do you know what I mean? So you're sort of going to bed late but only having sort of a few hours sleep we've got the moon card here which obviously is showing that you have got something on your mind at the moment there's a lot of sensitive issues that you are might you may be dealing with but i just feel that you feel like you're drowning in, a, in an emotional sense okay some of you as well on the romantic side of things could feel worlds apart between you and a loved one and that is also paying toll on your emotions. So let's have a look what else we've got for you, Leo. And we've got the Eight of Cups here. So the Eight of Cups is a realisation going through December because you don't want to be repeating patterns as we go in 2021. So for you, it's a reflection, a very, very deep reflection going on in December uh, for this week ahead just about it's time to turn your back on something or time to turn your back on someone with the five of ones this always um shows struggles so you're there you are struggling with some kind of an issue at the moment as i said this could be on a romantic side of things where you could be struggling with feelings around somebody but having the eight of cups this is about walking away from a situation walking away from an energy where you don't want to be engaged with okay so a lot of an emotional uh, energy going through and struggling with your your own self if that makes sense leo you're struggling with your own self your own decisions sort of questioning your own beliefs as well at this moment in time and we've got rediscovery here and this is about rediscovering you leo it's about putting yourself under the spotlight and as i said you've struggled with certain things going through 2020 and you need to turn your back on a situation now this could be there's a, a job that you no longer feel happy in doing and you you think to yourself you know I can't be going through 2021 doing that job. It may be a forced issue for some of you where you've had no choice and some of you have lost your careers going through uh, this year. And all it's saying is, even though a negative comes in, always try and turn a negative into a positive. Hence why the rediscovery. If we lose our jobs, 
if we lose our relationships, if we lose people we love in life who pass over to the spirit world, it impacts us greatly, okay, what with the grief, the upset, the worry and everything else. But it's the universe's way of shifting your path, okay? So some of you could be mulling over things. Christmas time is always a nostalgic time of year to remember anyway, but under the spotlight for you, Leo, you are wanting to leave behind people this year going into 2021 who no longer serve you as friends because I feel that it's been a bit of a wake-up call for you, for some of you, knowing who is there for you and who isn't. So this rediscovery card comes out as in rediscovering the true essence of you. So I've got these cards now and these are your hidden psyche, Leo. So let's just have a look. How are you are feeling deep within your psyche? So what else have you got going on? And we've got artificial heart. So this is highlighting that you could be having, it's like works two ways. You could be the person with the artificial heart where you're just trying to put a falseness on around people just to try and keep the peace. And then the artificial heart is you are thinking that there is a, an entity, there is a situation, there is a person, an energy around you where you feel they're not being honest, okay? So let's open it up a little bit more. What else have we got going on for Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. I want to go with that one. And it's the quest, plunge boldly into life. Hence, this is the realisation, this is the new rediscovery, and it's saying get a passion for life, okay? Because I feel whoever I'm picking up with, you do so much for other people, okay? And you put your own time to one side, and it's saying the quest now for you going out of 2020 into 2021 is basically start living a life for you you've got all these burning passions and desires and it's about confidence as well with you Leo okay about confidence so let's have a look what else is going on how the universe sees you and it's this card here this has come out a lot for you this year and it's basically you give this persona of being this graceful swan on top of the water but underneath your legs are paddling at 100 miles an hour um, and it's about your own identity as well. You don't have this confidence around you. And it's saying, going out of 2020 now, you've got to start loving yourself, believing in yourself, and you are a beautiful person inside and out, and have the confidence, okay, to go with the flow. Because I always look at this card as well as saying, go with the flow, and not to hide yourself, Leo, not to hide yourself, speak up, voice your opinions. So let's just get a, the animal spirit cards and see what's coming out for you in those. So we have the elk, which is the alchemical sign of earth. And I'm taking that as your energy straight away because this is how Leo's <laughs> are rolling this week. Your head is alight with um, worries and concerns as well. You just take up your whole headspace, taking on other people's responsibilities. And, you, and as I said at the start of this reading, I felt some of you were suffering with headaches or head pressure. And this is just highlighting the fact here on the elk's antlers. So... You need to start to quieten the mind, to clutter the mind and stop worrying, Leo, okay? As hard as that may be, um, we can worry and worry and it will not change any outcome. Whatever's going to happen will happen. So it's to say, try and calm your mind this week. And then we have the dragonfly, which is the alchemical sign of air. And this is the energy, what I feel is saying there is a fragile situation that you are dealing with at the moment, okay? And also it dips into your energies of 
up and down, up and down. Okay, one minute you can, you know, your head's on overload, and then the next minute it's like you realize that this is what you need to do. You need to quieten the mind, get rid of all this worry and anxiety that is feeding in through your head at the moment, and to transition into this um, dragonfly quieter, more peaceful energy. I also want to say the dragonfly comes in as a message for some of you as well um, of notifications coming in, communication. So let's just highlight the communication on that card. So what else have we got coming in for Leo? And we have the page of pentacles. Now the page of pentacles comes out as a message to say this is how you need to be focusing going into 2021. It's, but as you go into 2021, you will feel more grounded and your financial situation will be more secure. There is opportunities of finances to improve. And I feel that is off your own merits, okay? The creativity side of things. So let's just have a look what else is coming in for the new year. else have we got coming in for the new year it'd also be news um, around a family member who gets their self a job a secure job um, so that's good news coming in around a family member um, at the end of December just to say that they have got security you could have been worrying about a sibling one of your daughters or your sons and they come and um, give you some good news that they have got a placement or a new career that they will be starting after Christmas, which is positive energy for some as well. Hence why we've got the four of wands coming out for celebration. So that is a lovely energy um, to go out on for the start of 2021. I'm just going to get another universe card just to highlight the energy we've got here. But you are going out on a high, my lovelies, as we go through the end of December into January. A lot to celebrate as well. Um, it could be that you've been waiting to hear of um, notification of awards or benefits or something like that and it's just to say you've been given the go ahead um, so that's a, a cause for celebration for some of you as I said you could even have landed a new job in the new year as well but just now the energy is a beautiful energy going into the start of January where um, it's good news and good fortunes as well so we have here the card that the universe wants to show you of how you are going in to 2021 and this is just saying as bizarre as the picture may look okay but it's about transformation because that person is more or less transform transforming and taking on the silhouette of the stalk okay now just to let you know this card shows protection and also it shows fertility and it also gives a message to me of somebody around you. Um, could there might be another pregnancy coming in in the new year? News of a pregnancy for some, okay? But it's just saying here you are following your nose <laughs> in a sense. You are follow, following your own direction as we start into January, and you are protected, okay? As I said, you are protected, and transformation for you. As well so I'm just going to get one more card out just to clarify this picture card that the universe is showing you okay it also gives a message to me they're just telling me now that you need to be poking your nose into somebody's affairs and it's like to say there's some information as well right under your nose because it's highlighting the nose on this card so there's some information that is right under your nose or you have to be poking your nose into somebody's in um, a situation around you with a family member to find out the truth i do feel though that there is um news of a pregnancy it's they're just screaming at me in my ear yeah. pregnancy 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 um having the stalks there as well so we have here the hanged man. So there's a situation around you as you go into the new year where there will be have to be a decision made, okay? There's something hanging in the balance and this could be to do with the pregnancies as well. 
uh, for some of you, for those um, where the news is concerned, as whether the person will want to keep the child or to actually um, have the child, you know. So that's a big decision that is hanging in the balance for some of you. But on the other side of the coin, for the general, it could be you are unsure of whether to, to poke your nose into somebody else's affairs, okay? So you're on this um, sort of limbo of do I intervene or don't I intervene, okay? But obviously that is down to you at the end of the day. So my lovely Leos, that is what I get for you for this week's reading. Remember, I am not going to be back now till the 4th of January. So I hope you can try and enjoy your Christmas the best you can under the circumstances, my lovelies. Thank you for all your support in 2020 and I'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will see you soon. Take care, my lovelies. Bye then. Bye.